Alright, so we got some more coinage. Uh, 411, that's not too bad. I predict we'll probably get around to five, five to 600 coins before we leave this place. Get some more riches along the way there. There we go, there's your star piece. And by the way, I apologize in advance. I'll have it fixed by a certain episode. I don't know when or which one. But I so deeply apologize for the uber goober mistake I did for a couple of episodes. I subtracted one star piece from the star piece counter. I don't know why I did this. I think it's because on my little sheet, I have a weird grid actually. I might snap a photo of it and show you guys. But I have this weird layout sheet that's kind of like a hand-drawn Excel spreadsheet of episode number and then of course the amount of star pieces I gain. And I guess when I turned it over, I didn't quite keep the count well enough. Also, this is uh, kind of a problem here. I'm guessing I don't walk on lava, do I? Ow! Hey, I had to at least check. Sorry, Mario. So yeah, that happened. So hopefully by now I've kept up with that and we no longer have any issues. I know it's been kind of a running gag, like I've there were so many episodes ago that I had the star piece counter incorrect because I subtracted like seven of six or seven. And then I had to do like a whole explanation for that by filming myself so you ought to see my awkward face, my cluttered desk, and of course my little Pikachu plushie in the background. But as of now, hopefully, hopefully all issues are resolved. And also, block pushing puzzle for the win. Ooh. I don't know why, but when I first played this, I actually automatically knew what to do here. I was like, oh, I pushed, I go over there, and then I push the blocks in. And then, for some reason in my mind, I was thinking, yeah, that should work, because I think I had played a bunch of Ze Legend of Zelda games. So the puzzle aspect of blocking the lava and lowering the water, the water, the lava level of this just made sense to me. Whereas somebody who's playing this for the first time, or playing this as their first game, they probably wouldn't have been like, um... I don't know why, I guess we could push the blocks there. Speaking of which, I actually had fun watching Nintendo Capri Sun go through that <coughs> section the first time, because it was kind of funny listening to him. He was like, hmm, hearing him speculate, well, maybe if I push the blocks, I could jump over this gap here, instead of skipping out on it. And honestly, if the game allowed it, I'm like, that's actually pretty clever, thinking about it. That's why I like sometimes watching people like him that play through this game, because that allows me to see a fresh perspective, like, you know, I never thought about that, but if the game allowed you to jump over that unusual barrier that's like in the way like this right here you know you could just skip out on a lot of the BS and that's kind of kind of funny you know anyway enough of me promoting other people here let's go ahead and uh I see some battles ahead here how many we got two okay well that's actually perfect because we have some fire based enemies ooh we have a new enemy hold that hold your tail fin up there uh, sushi we got ourselves a bit of a new introduction we gotta do here. Red Magic Koopa, or R Magic Koopa, however you prefer. This is a Red Magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. Snappy red robes, huh? I take it red's your favorite color? Mm, you might say that. Limit HP, 3 attack power, 0 defense. He can magically increase the attack power of others. Take care of him before he can pump up his companions. Also, a little bit of a detail that he didn't mention. Rarely, and I mean Rarely will this guy ever attack, or any of the other Magic Koopas, attack Mario directly. They will attack occasionally, but I gotta be completely honest, they rarely, if at all, attack you. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and break out, chill out, because I feel like that would be a good idea, given we have somebody that can raise the attack power of their companions. But yeah, the Magic Koopa there, they occasionally will attack you, and it's weird because what they do is they'll teleport. They just come up and whack you with their wand. They don't shoot out like a magical beam, like the um, like the beginning Magic Koopa we fought before, or just as we learned how to action command. So I don't know, I don't know what their deal is, but they are pretty nifty as far as like doing unusual power ups or healings and whatnot. I think what was the other one we fought? There was one in the woods. I know. I want to say it was the white robe because that's the one that heals. And I'm pretty certain that's correct. Also, thank you, Merle. I appreciate it. I'm going to take him out, and I don't even have to worry about watching the animation of him falling off his broomstick like a dummy. Alright, so it's probably a little overkill, but we're going to go ahead and do Tidal Wave. <coughs> Excuse me! Swim madly to create wave that washes over all enemies. So with this one, we have to mash the buttons that are up here on screen. A, B, or down C will be the buttons that you will need to push. This can be a little unnerving, so uh, what I like to do is I like to do a little rhythm thing. Hut! 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 
Hut! Hut! Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I didn't really do it. You still heard a few <coughs> sound effects there. And I, you clearly can tell I didn't do so hot there. <laughs> hot, get it? Will you guys stop attacking my partner? That's so rude. How rude! Also, our, H our FP is a little low again. What do we have for items? I mean, I could finish them off probably with a power block. But, I don't know, should I work on healing? Hmm, that's a tough one. I think we should probably go ahead and use the power block since we can finish them off with this move. And then we'll worry about healing in the next battle, really. I would say worry about healing in between battles, but... Nah, that would make sense. Seriously, man, that would make sense. Ooh, hey, give me one heart point, I'll take it. I will gladly take it, ooh. Alright, so I'm guessing another Magic Koopa. Yeah, sure enough. I can see the little HP bar, so that must mean that we did indeed take care of him. Alright, so I would... Ooh, let's actually think about this carefully. Hmm. Well, I'm going to focus, and then I'm actually going to do something that's pretty cool. And this is a nifty eye in combination with the Ice Power Badge and the um, Fire Shield Badge. With uh, Sushi's Water Block, we can actually get plus one defense in addition to everything else we've got. So, we'll actually have two defense, so we can actually block them. Except, of course, if they attack the party member, then it's still going to be two. Really? Really? Huh. That must be the... The only time they do that is when they're in the air, but... Because I could have sworn, I remember, when I watched a Magic Koopa attack me once, they didn't actually come after me with a Magic attack, you know, with the PlayStation attack with the X, Circle, and Squares. They just teleported over and whacked me in the face with their wand. But alright, fine. Make a liar out of me, game. See if I care. I'll take my aggression out by knocking out the white magic Koopa. Oh man! Well, it's a good thing they don't stack that kind of garbage. You know, where they basically continue using that same move on your party member so they have to keep permanently staying out commission for two turns every turn. That'd be such a jerk move for them to do that, but I could totally see that being a thing that can happen. Speaking of which, huh, that just made me think of the next chapter about how some things can happen where it seems like you permanently stay out of commission for every turn because of a certain move, but more on that later, I guess. For now, let's focus on the now. Here we go. Okay, we're getting good at dodging that, so that's good. I'm actually going to use a refresh, and then we'll, uh, We'll actually use, we'll go ahead and swap party members out that can do some damage so I can go ahead and focus on recharging our batteries a bit. Batteries a bat? Oh no, I said batteries a bit. I don't know what I said. That's a problem, honestly, sometimes. I already mentioned this, it's kind of like an actor on stage when you're doing a performance, you know? You have no idea what you said like five seconds ago, but you want to hope to goodness that you said what you meant to say on your mind and didn't say something silly. It becomes especially apparent if you said something and someone goes <laughs> and starts snickering, and you're thinking to yourself, did I say something funny? Hope I didn't say the line incorrectly. I actually had an incident where I was doing a presentation in front of people, it was for like a geology class, and I think I got the subject on like tidal waves and different currents and portions of, uh, or portions, different positions of the water and different phases of the moon and all that, you know, all that information that ties together on how the tides rise and fall and what affects them, what doesn't affect them. Anyway, long story short, there was a point where I had to say the word title bulge. And when I said bulge, I kid you not, I had like an entire back row of students go <laughs> 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 laughing and busting out in the background. And of course the teacher looks around like, what the fudge? What's the problem? And they're sitting back there just dying laughing. Then when I got sat back down, they were like, how could you not laugh? Look what we got, world! It's the Ultra Hammer! Our attack power increases! Sorry, Stone Hammer, we gotta throw you away. On top of that, we can now destroy metal blocks. Yes, every time I kept calling those gray blocks metal blocks, those are actually stone blocks. These, however, these colorful pink looking blocks, are metal blocks! And as you can hear, yes, there's an even louder smash smash sound. Additionally, we can actually use this hammer to flip over star piece panels if we so chose to. So, what was I talking about before? Oh, sorry, the story. Yeah, so I sat back down, and they told me, how could you not laugh? And I'm like, what? And they're like, I said bulge. And I'm like, oh, guys, come on. <laughs> that was funny, but jeez. You're gonna give me a trouble, man. That's... Actually, I think I remember I was trying to play it cool. I was like, oh, haha, yeah. 
because I completely spaced. I totally didn't notice that that was something I said that was kind of lulzy worthy. But I also was like, well, I didn't want to draw attention to the teacher. And that was technically telling the truth, because I had kind of a weird-ish teacher who you couldn't quite tell if he was joking sometimes, and he just seemed like a guy you didn't want to, for lack of better words, and pardon my French, but you didn't want to piss him off, you know? He wasn't like a past teacher I told you about that, because I remember talking about another teacher in my, win in my Wind Waker Let's Play, I said, he kept saying the word obviously. This is actually a different one. This is my geology teacher. And he was cool to a degree, but he was also kind of... Uh, I hate to say it, but he was a lot like um, Trainer N or... Um, What's that guy's name? The one that's like super de duper weird. He's the lucky student in Danganronpa 2. Tr uh, I want to say Trigger ha Happy Havoc, but I don't think that's actually the name of it. I think it's just called Danganronpa 2. Uh, future Self, what's, it, what's his name? Don't forget, from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. And I'm sure you went ahead and threw a picture of him on screen. I don't know why I don't remember his name for some reason. It's so weird. I used to know, like, all of the names of the characters, especially his name, because his, his character is super weird, but. Like him and Trainer N, you can't really tell if he's on your side or not. And that was, like, my geology teacher down to the T. Like, you can't really tell if he's trying to help you or if he's serious or not. I guess you could say you throw on that picture. Not sure if serious. Ah! <laughs> what an image, man. Just freaking sitting there like, ah! And then you're like, Ugh! He acted like he was going to attack me, and then he ends up having, like, a belly ache and retracts his statements like I got a statement I want to share with you and he's like oh never mind anyway for coming in here we get a dizzy stomp badge as you might be able to guess if we jump on an enemy with this attack we will have a chance at causing the dizzy effect status of course like all the other badges with the jump effects we do have to pay two FP to use the badge or pay two two flower points to use the attack excuse me hello we'll get it right one of these days FP, BP, IB, I don't know. <laughs> all these different acronyms are making me all screwy, man. This is why I have issues with alphabet soup. That's why you'll hear me sometimes say instead of HP, you'll say, or I'll say health points or heart points. It's actually heart points, I believe, yeah. And then, uh, instead of FP, it's flower points, because otherwise you could be, you could mistake it as first person, you know? <clears throat> you know, excuse me, jeez, are you burping? Hey, how you doing? My finely honed intuition tells me that great discoveries lie just beyond here. But there is this mysterious block in the way! Curse us what to do! Oh, I know what to do! A smashy! Yes! Excellent! Now, Mario, no time to hang about! Onward to glory! Geez, so excited, man. Just jumping around. Alright, well, I guess we could do that. Let me go ahead and save here since I've. Been having issues lately. The game freezing, and then I had a corrupt file. Actually, this is like the umpteenth time I've been doing this. Oh, cool, a zipline. Nice. Since this is the, I'm betting this is that same room, we could actually jump down using the zipline. Hey, Colorado, how you doing? Mm, smells like meat. Uh, I mean, it smells like treasure. Treasure, old boy. Make way, I'm going ahead. Uh, Colorado? That, uh. Yeah! Ouch. With a capital O. Well, I guess we'll go down and check him. I think right here? Ish? Whoa! I'm scared to move. Uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. I was like, if I move left and I fall off, I would have been so upset. So we got ourselves a second super block that we can use, and since I've already powered up sushi, that means we have to power up one of our other party members. And with the Ultra Stone, it's like, oh man. Now we're back to the beginning of the game where I'm having trouble deciding which one to power up. Well, if I have to be completely honest, I really, 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 really would like to go ahead and bring it Goomba Rio for now. The other party members I do definitely want to eventually power up, but for now, he gains a really cool ability later. Or later. By later, I mean now. Jeez. Here I am talking like I'm not going to do it, and it's in the future tense. Alright, so what he gains is he gains something called, I think, Multibonk? Which is basically a very... OP move. It's kind of like power bounce. D don't mind me, Mario. Just investigating this floor a bit more closely. You go on ahead. <laughs> nice save. Oh my aching. Oh, poor guy. Can I smack you? Make you feel better? No. Okay, I guess not. Well, you just go ahead and take all the time you need to rest up, whatever, 
We're gonna go ahead and make our way back up top and press onward. This is like probably what, the third video? Jeez. Second or third, I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about that. Future self has got it all figured out. For now, let's go ahead and press onward.